Welcome to Bad Gear, the show about the world's most hated audio tools. Today we are going to talk about the Zoom ARQ AR48 Aero Rhythm Track all-in-one production and live performance instrument. I am a hardcore Zoom fan and frequent viewers of the show might have noticed that I use one of their multi-FX pedals in almost every episode and we all know that their field recorders are nice. While the Zoom product portfolio usually screams understatement, the release of the AR48 in 2017 was a rather bold move. On paper, its feature set goes well beyond what an MPC or Digitact can do and we haven't even talked about the, well, let's call it unorthodox design. The ring-shaped instrument really seems to boost creativity, at least when it comes to people's ideas on what it actually looks like. Ok, it's no Millennium Falcon or psychedelic post-Cold War targeting device for nukes, but comparing it to a UFO, vintage kitchen light, Nintendo controller, frisbee, hula hoop, a digital tambourine for the band's front person's personal Yoko Ono and, of course, a good old game of Simon Says is not exactly far-fetched. At least, their design department didn't go full on existence body horror. Thanks for that. At the first glance, the AR48 is beyond box ticking. The circular 32-step sequencer triggers a synth section, a rompler and a full-fledged sampler with resampling capabilities. There are all kinds of creative effects and those who really want to embarrass themselves on stage or in the DJ booth can make yoga moves with the detachable controller ring and actually tweak parameters this way. Hell, they even threw in a looper and an SD card reader. On the other hand, the connectivity of the unit is reduced to a bare minimum. One stereo output, one stereo input on mini jack and why? No MIDI in. For those of you who crave limitless creative freedom, there is a Bluetooth adapter available for wireless operation of the controller ring. The price development of this groove box is interesting. It started out with a manufacturer suggested retail price of 415 euros and 31 cents three years ago and I just bought one brand new at a blowout sale for 90 bucks. I don't want to know what happened in between, but obviously people didn't queue up for it like they would for a new iPhone. So why didn't Zoom totally change the Groovebox game with this feature laden eyesore? You have already heard the AR48 in our little intro tune. The built-in library offers sounds that fit the track nicely. Without any further ado and with no idea how to use that thing, let's see what happens if we just try to wing it in this pre-manual download jam. Not bad. I still have to figure out how to program velocity on the step sequencer, but the samples are fun to play. The signal produced by the AR48 is very controlled and it seems like it has already been mastered or landered or whatever. Let's see if we can rough it up a bit using stomp boxes and an analog bass drum. You're listening to Bad Gear. figured out how to program velocity on the step sequencer, but apart from that, the groove box makes a lot of sense. The sounds can keep up with the almost too fat sounding Yomox kick drum and the arpeggiator yields nice results. When the AR48 arrived at my place in its original packaging, I was irritated. There are two dubstep references on the box. I mean, what is this? 2011? Do we really have to? Oh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. 
Verdict. The Zoom ARQ AR48 is a full-blown groove box with an impressive set of features and a very innovative concept. It brings a lot of sounds you would expect from a DAW to the hardware world and the user interface is mostly intuitive. Still, there is a lot of stuff going on in that psychedelic thing that neither the manual nor any YouTube video could explain to me. It all seems unfinished and I'm afraid that, given the current blowout sales, it will remain that way. It would be great if some firmware hack messiah took this machine to a whole new level. Until then, I might have figured out how to program velocity on the step sequencer. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment what other kind of gear you would like to see and hear on the show.